This is a really nasty, smelly, moldy washing machine. I really wish there was a smell-o-vision option on this video so you can understand how much this thing stinks. In general, sometimes washing machines, they just stink, right? So you have water sitting in there, you close the door, it just sits. You can have mildew and mold develop and it starts to smell. So I'm gonna show you why that's happening and I'm gonna give you some tips at the end of this video on how to prevent it. These came with the house. So I have a feeling that they ran their last load of laundry, they closed the door, they didn't wipe it down or anything, and it just sat there for a couple months. And what happens when that happens is, if you look here, this is where all the water is gonna sit, and then back here and here, and you're gonna see all this black that is all mold. And it doesn't just stop there. There's some on the back side of this, and then it goes all the way around. You can see some right here. Stuff can get caught in here, and water will just sit in there and develop mold. There's also some up on the top right here that's really hard to see. But if I peel this back, you can see some up there too. So there is a way to take this entire door seal out, but I don't wanna do that. And I have a feeling you don't wanna do that either because you'd have to remove the top panel here, the front panel, this thing comes right out, and then attached to the actual drum is a big piece of concrete. It's like a, a counterweight. You have to take that off. There's that light on the top and two hoses, and then you have to remove this clamp around the top and then finally the whole thing will come out and you can clean it that way but again i don't think you want to do that and i'm going to try and do it without doing that something that's also happening is this is leaking from the front and just build up of soap and residue and stuff around here can cause that and around the door right here so while i'm cleaning all that i'm also going to clean that and that and hope that it fixes the problem. So let's get gloved up, put some cardboard down here and start cleaning. Before I start, I'm just gonna unplug this because there is a light in the door seal. So I don't wanna mess with that. And it's gonna shine in my eyes. So I have some gloves, some paper towels, a little sponge so I can really scrub that in there. Some Q-tips to get in the small areas. And then this is what I'm gonna use. Clorox plus Tylex mold and mildew remover. As I was researching, I saw people used vinegar and water, uh, regular bleach, uh, CLR. You can use all kinds of stuff. It's up to you, whatever you wanna use. Whatever you do use, probably wanna be in a well-ventilated area. If you can have a fan going, have a door open, that would probably be best. So, here's what I'm gonna do. Because I don't wanna spray this all over the place, I'm gonna take some paper towels and I'm gonna lay them out like this and I'm gonna spray the paper towels and then I will use that to kind of rub it in there. I could probably spray on the bottom, but up top, I just don't want it going all over the place and on these, the light and the hose and everything. Uh, just try and concentrate on the actual mold. So, spray it on here. So, and then I'm gonna get right in here and apply it. So I'm gonna start at the top here and work my way down. Um, if your seal is old and brittle, you really wanna be careful doing this. This is in pretty good shape, so I think I can peel this back quite a bit and not have an issue. Just keep that in mind. You don't wanna have to replace this seal. Although if it's really bad, you might have to. So I'm gonna take my rag and just Get in here and start wiping this down. I am gonna let this sit for a little bit up here, um, but this is probably gonna start wiping stuff off immediately. Just gonna try and cover the entire seal up here. And then there's a flap right here. I'm just doing this by feel, really. Try and peel this back right here. Try and get the 
behind there. Okay, let's see what we got. So you have some lint built up there and some of those spots are already coming off. Take a look. I think that has to sit there more. And what I'll do is leave that paper towel there for about five minutes and hopefully it'll soak into that stain. All right, I'll take this out and I'm gonna try giving this a little scrub. Let's see if I can get that stain off of there. Yeah, I'm well, missing a big spot right there. Try this again. against that spot. I'm not going to put my head underneath this when I do it. I don't want anything dripping on me. Tuck that right up in there. Let it sit. I'll do another one in the other spot. Been about five minutes, a little longer. Hopefully that soaked in from here. Scrub it a little bit. Even if I get the majority of this out of here, I'll be happy. Just so I can get that smell to go away. But if I can't get these stains out, unfortunately, and if this stuff keeps coming back, I might have to replace this seal, which I really don't want to do. So hopefully your stains come off and hopefully mine do too. I don't think it's too bad behind that. No, I don't think there's any behind that. No, just a little on the side here. Not easy. Definitely easier when you can see it. It's coming off. Gonna definitely take some elbow grease. It's starting to come off, just gotta work it. So this is all starting to come off right here. Unfortunately, Back here, if I can get a grip, I'm gonna sneak in here. And you see all the hidden mold on this back here. As I pull it out, you'll see more and more. So, some situations you might have to remove this whole thing, but again, I'm just gonna do my best and clean what I can. And that's all I can do. The smell doesn't go away. If it keeps getting moldy, I might be making a video on how to remove this door seal. We'll see. Actually, that's working pretty good. Just peeling this back. Trying to get in there and clean it. Okay, that might be as far as I'm willing and able to go with that. I'm gonna get some really soaked paper towels and try and rinse that off. But even this stuff touching the mold, I think will help to kill it or at least try to control it. So I think the top section, probably from here to here, is all done. And now I'm gonna work going towards the bottom. Okay, let me see. Yeah. That looks way better. There's still some right there. And we'll work our way down. If I peel this back, you can see there's a lot of buildup, some lint and whatnot in there. So I'm gonna try and Pull that back a little bit and get the big stuff out of there. Just wipe it down before I spray it. And on the back side of this seal too, I'll just have to kind of hug that with the paper towel. Let's see what we can get out of there. Just kind of got my fingers in there. 
Just trying to do a swipe. Careful, don't crush your fingers. Get all that out of there. I think the majority of it is on the bottom here. I think that's where the smell is coming from for the most part. Yeah, clean that right up. Okay, I got the majority of it out. Oh. Now I'm gonna spray it right down. I think it'll be easier to spray it directly and let it sit. It's really soak into this. Peel this right back. Yeah, this is really bad down here. Okay, let that sit. While that's soaking a little bit, I'm gonna try and solve the door leaking issue. Right here, this can get built up even if you don't see it. Uh, there can be build up here. Actually, you can see it. Look at that. So grime, soap, all this stuff can cause a bad seal against the door. And when you close it and water starts getting up against there, it can leak like it was with mine. So I'm just going to clean that while that sits. I'm going to use the same stuff. Maybe this stuff will come off a little easier. Yeah, I think that's coming right off. I'm do the same thing with the door itself. Clean the glass or the plastic, whatever this is. And then right in here, wherever that touches the door seal. And hopefully that solves the problem. Another reason that could happen is overloading the washer, or if for whatever reason, this hinge is bent and this just isn't closing properly, that could also make it leak. And that's working good. Let's see if I can scrub this. A toothbrush would probably work pretty good for this too. Might need a little more time. Let me check the bottom where I know it got soaked good. Yeah, that's working. Okay, I'm gonna spray it down a little bit more and then let it sit a little longer. While we're letting that soak in, right at the bottom here, there's three drain holes. I don't want those to be clogged and I wanna clean those real good. So I'm just gonna take a Q-tip or a cotton swab. And then back here, peel it like this. Do the same thing. These are all the way around, unfortunately. Um, I'll just get to the ones that I can. Oh, that one's really bad. A lot of stuff in there. This might be the problem too, if these get clogged, a lot of water can sit right here. Might not drain properly. I'm gonna soak all that up. All right, let's see. One more scrubbing. It's just a little bit of a ring on the outside there. Definitely way better. Make sure as you are going, you're pulling out stuff like this. Any debris that gets stuck in there. You know, that's one of the flaws of a front load washing machine is stuff gets stuck in here and clogs this up. 
um, and obviously this issue. I don't think I've done a load without getting stuff stuck in here, like a baby sock or something, and it clogs these up, and maybe that's part of the problem too with it leaking, is this all fills up with water. Backside of this, all the way around. Might be better to use a cloth so it doesn't fall apart. Just, again, make sure you get all the debris out of there. And now, just water here. I'll try and rinse this a little bit. Get the top again. Now I'm just gonna wipe down all the outside right here. All right, let's do a little inspection and see what it looks like now. All right here and here was really bad. You can see that looks way, way better. As I pull this back along here, you can see a little, little residual right here. But that's gonna rinse right away, hopefully. All that looks nice and clean as you work your way up. It's looking good. Pull that back. A lot of that is gone. So I think that's going to be good. It's not 100%. 100% of course would be a lot more work. So what I'm going to do now is run a clean cycle with this. Right here it says clean washer. Yours may or may not have that. I'm not gonna add anything to it. Some people will put bleach in or vinegar. It's not 100% necessary. The difference between a regular wash cycle and a clean cycle is that it does it at really high heat. So hopefully it'll just rinse all this out of here. And then of course I'm gonna test it on like a towel or something before I just go back to regular loads. And I am hoping that the smell is gone and I'm also hoping that it doesn't leak. So let's run that and see what happens. I'm going to plug it back in. Go to clean washer and let her rip. Might as well clean the front. It's getting right in there. I think that's going to help a lot. And as I said, that's high heat. So that cycle is done. And while that was happening, as I was standing here staring at it, I noticed that the water was actually leaking from right here, following this door down. And that is why it looked like it was leaking from the bottom of the door. So unfortunately, I have to figure that out, what's causing that problem. But the good thing is, it doesn't have anything to do with the door seal. So, I don't know, win-lose, I guess. But let's check out how we did. I'll open this up and you can see that this is a lot better. I might even try spraying it one more time and doing that again, but I got the majority of this out of here and it smells way better. So however bad your seal is, you can, you know, clean it as much as you want or as little as you need. But this is looking pretty good, even at the top. But I think the majority of it was down on the bottom. And a couple things that you can do to prevent this, this is gonna be my ritual now with this washer since I'm pretty much forced to have a front load washer. I'm gonna keep a rag handy and I'm gonna make sure that this is all dry or as dry as I can get it. Just wipe all this, wipe the seal here on the top and all the way around and just try and dry it out a little bit. And then I'll leave this open like this so that the water and the moisture, the humidity, doesn't just sit there and cause things to get moldy like it's been doing. So 
Leave this open, let it air out in between loads, make sure it's dry, as dry as you can get it, and if it still stinks, it could potentially be something wrong with your outlet. Maybe there's not a loop and there's water sitting in there. Generally, washers tend to smell sometimes anyways, uh, but if you had this situation with a very moldy door seal, I hope this video helps. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. The light goes off eventually. See? No tricks. It will go off. So we're not going to burn the light bulb out or anything. It's probably LED anyways. That's it. Thanks for watching. I hurt my back. Oh, man. There's a lot back here. I'm going to leave the door slightly open like this. And that way, the humidity can't stay in there. One second. <laughs>